Right, there we go. Let's see if we can do this while the wind's a little low. Get some guys over there partying, if you can hear the music. Welcome back, everybody. Back in the Caribbean, one month later. Uh, I got the smaller line for the trampoline line. And, um, but before I swapped the line out on the trampoline, I decided I have this old block that's my main halyard for the main sill. Um, and I want to swap this out to a new one. So we got this new one right here. And this old one, I mean, it, it's in pretty decent shape, but the little lock on it broke. And so it just swivels. And sometimes I like to lock it. Um, and truth be told, I mean, I use this to go up the mass when I need to make repairs. And this thing's got some age on it. And God forbid it ever broke while I was on it, which, you know, I, I would be unlikely. But if it did, it would be catastrophic and I would probably fall to my death, which I don't really want to do. So before I've got our smaller six mil or no, the, the original line I got was six millimeter. This is five millimeter or three sixteenths versus quarter inch uh, for all of my fellow American friends. Um, so I think what I'm going to do as far as the trampoline goes is I'll show you here in a bit. We'll set it up, but I'll just briefly explain what I'm gonna do. Three sides of this, we need this smaller line. I tried to sell this bigger line that I got and nobody's really biting on it. So I think on the one side that goes to the crossbar on the front, uh, I'll use the bigger stuff on it. And then on these other three sides where I need the smaller line, um, I'll use this smaller line and then I'll have some left over for whatever in the future maybe I can make some soft shackles out of it um, but before we do that since I have this small 3 16 hundred and I think it's like 140 feet of line I think is what I calculated uh, this mast on this boat is 55 feet tall so this is long enough to go up and then back down and I have to pull the line out of the mast in order to change this block out so I thought, you know what I'll use this line, we'll change the block out. Then once that's all fixed up, uh, we will go ahead and re-rig the trampoline so it should work out pretty good. And I've got to go up the mast here pretty soon because the little uh, uh, the little wind spinny direction thing for the uh, wind indicator uh, broke during a recent storm. <clears throat> so I got a new one of those. We'll do a whole video on that on how to replace it. I already went up and pulled the old one off. It was pretty uneventful. Um, it's just unscrewing it off of a, a rod and then unplugging the wire. But I'll show you. I'll sh we'll put the new one back on and I'll film a bit of it. If I have the nerves to pull the camera out while I'm up at the top of this giant mast. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to set you guys up back there. And uh, we're just going to do... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it here. Uh, we'll do a simple lashing. Um on the end of this, nothing crazy. Uh, let me tilt you guys down, we'll see. There we go. So we got two, so we got a smaller line and we got our main halyard, right? And we wanna join these two. Now, could I just tape this and it'll probably be okay? Yeah, most likely, but I think I'd rather put some lashing on it first, just to make sure. Uh, Cause if this came apart while running it through the mass, um, well, that would really suck and yeah that would just suck so we don't want to risk that chance um so let's point you guys down here at the ground there we go and we'll lash this together here yeah that'll work so this is rigging floss uh, we use it a lot. Well, I used to use it a lot when uh, tying up offshore baits for lures for like marlin and mahi and stuff. Used to use it a bunch. I don't ever really fish that much anymore, but <coughs> works good. You can get it really, really tight and super small stuff. So.
I don't think this has to be done any real particular way. There are some ways that you would want to do. You would want to run a rigging needle right through the middle of each lines and then really pay attention to what you're doing. But this is a pretty simple deal. There's nothing to really catch us on, but that's, that's, oh, sorry. That's what we wound up with there. And then we'll just use some electrical tape. We'll go around this really good and kind of flatten it out really nice. And it sh should run through the mask relatively easily. So I've just got some cheap yellow electrical tape that I use for some of my free diving uh, rigging. So. You wanna do this tight. Like try to get it as tight as you can so it's as small as possible. We're gonna have to come back the other way with this when we pull it through the mass so I don't want to leave this to where it can snag on anything so I'm gonna run the tape past it just a bit I'm not exactly sure what's in that mass but shouldn't I've done this once before a long time ago and didn't have any problems, so we'll just repeat. So here we go. Let me set you guys back a little bit and I'll show you the process. There you go. We're there. Uh, so we need to undo this, slide our old block off, and then put our new one on.
here's the two spots. So here's where we needed the smaller line. And then technically uh, on here, we don't need that small line really because it'll where we overlap here is not the same here. Uh, so let's use that bigger line on this cross beam that's up here at the front. And then these other three sides, we'll, uh, we'll use that smaller line. So I think this is gonna take a while. Probably should just set you guys up on a time lapse over there. <clears throat> I don't think there's really much to show here. I'll probably do like a, um, yeah, I think to start right here, I'll probably do a bowline knot and then just copy this pattern all the way down and until we get down to the other side. I don't think it's anything terribly exciting, so. And this line has had it since the uh, since part one of this video it's broke about five different times on charters <laughs> i've had to make quite a few different repairs just kind of little temporary spots but i was about six weeks ago okay there we go do too much of this because I don't want to fall in the water. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Start to get a little unsteady. Plus, I want to be able to cinch it back pretty good, so I don't really want to undo much of it. I, and I, I really like to put some tension back on this trampoline. It's a bit saggy in the middle. <laughs> so, I think I'll set you guys up back there and you can just kind of have a big look of, of everything that's going on. Maybe a little time lapse. This is gonna take a while. That's a whole lot of line. I don't know any quicker, easier way to do it. But that's what's happening.